Life's what you make it. So let's make it rock. Life's what you make it. So come on. Come on. Everybody now. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome back to another video. This is Nelly Bill. Go ahead and subscribe. Thumbs up. Uh, post notification bell. All that good stuff if this is your first time here. If this is like your second, third, hundredth, hundredth time here. I can't talk. Something you probably should know how to do if you're going to be filming YouTube videos. <laughs> Let's just get right into the tea. So um, I'm going to keep looking over here because... Um, I have to look at myself in the monitor because I have problems. <laughs> Ojo Siwa. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm just going to jump right into it. Okay, so if you've been living under a rock, <laughs> about a year ago, Jojo came out as part of the LGBT. Congratulations, good old her for coming out. Well, <laughs> fast forward a year later, here we are. If you don't know, she's pretty much the face of Nickelodeon. She's done a lot with them. She's done a lot. She been out here popping. You know, she's a little girl. She started on Dance Mama Love so much. I've been fan of little girl since she was a little girl. You know what I'm saying? Now she a grown woman now. She out here. She trying to step out. She trying to be grown. And she shut. Okay. And so fast forward, who we are now. Nickelodeon won't be all funny. They they didn't invite my girl to, to the awards. Nickelodeon just had their Kids' Choice Award a few days ago and sister girl didn't get invited and um it, it, it this is basically the equivalent of if disney did not have uh you, you know if they try to be shady towards Santa montana like, you know what i'm saying like they she pretty much the face of nickelodeon and they're like where jojo at it she was nowhere to be found People were like, where's JoJo? Where's JoJo? And JoJo was like, uh, don't get it twisted. The only reason I ain't come because I ain't get no invitation. So everybody was like, Nickelodeon, you want you would you you want chime in? Why was she not there? How how did she not get an invitation? So of course everyone's assuming that she didn't get invited because of her recent lifestyle. Uh and and, and uh not her recent lifestyle, but her her recently coming out about her lifestyle within the last year and cutting her hair off and all of these things, right? And it and it's just you know, it's unfortunate, and that probably does have a lot to do with it. But here's the part of the video where I'm going to lose some of y'all. But I see right now I'm going to have to be that person. Look, y'all, we have come a long way as a people. And a lot of people have become more tolerant. They have um, educated themselves. They've become more welcoming and embracing of people in the LGBT community. we come a long way with racism. we come a long way with with as far as not being discriminatory but at the end of the day remember where you are we are in america and america has a lot of growth to do really you know you, people people are 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 open you know on the outsides and the outskirts the edge of america but when you start to get into middle america a lot of people really are stuck okay that's the first thing you got to remember the second thing that people have to remember is if you are a celebrity for children you, yes, are selling to children, but you are more so selling to their parents because they are the ones who are actually spending the money. So as you can imagine, with JoJo really starting to walk in her truth and then not aligning with, you know, middle America, um, there was a lot of outrage about her coming out so publicly and being so heavily involved with Nickelodeon. Um, you know, you, you, a lot of people would think that we are past that in 2022 and after everything we've been through and all of these things, but baby, look, at the end of the day, Nickelodeon is a business and there is a bottom line and Brandon Marshall said it best. We need to learn how to take emotions out of finances. Now, that is not to say that companies don't make decisions that are heartless and that are, uh, you know, sometimes just straight up wrong in the name of the bottom line. But if somebody's not thinking about the bottom line, there is not going to be any money for anyone anywhere to do anything ever that is creative, that is that is expressive. And hard, tough decisions have to be made. If you have millions of parents pissed off, I mean, what do you, what do you want these people to do? I'm not saying that it is right, um, but 
you, you, you guys, we can't be shocked that this is happening. They're doing their best to support her. But are we really surprised that the, that the child didn't get an invite? We cannot have, we cannot have an Oscars moment at, at the JoJo, at, at, at the JoJo Siwa Awards, at the Nickelodeon Awards, meaning in, in the sense of we can't have scandal. Not that JoJo was going to go in there and do anything that was like, she wasn't going to go in there and hold up a sign saying, be gay. Like, not in the way that these parents imagine. You have some parents that are fully scared. Like, why do you, parents, for a second. Why is, what is it that you think, your, your kid, if your kid, let me tell you, first of all, let me tell you something. If your kid is gay, bi, trans, queer, thinking about cross-dressing, whatever, they're going to be that whether they see it on TV or not. It's it, Either you are or, or you're not. But also for people who do not have kids, like myself, you have to understand, parents out here just trying to do the best they can, ain't no handbook. You know what I'm saying? It takes a village and you can only go with their instinct. And unfortunately, parents, some parents focus on the, their fears and, and they rely and, and they fall victim to their ignorance and they make decisions for their kids based off of ignorance. And it's only so much that you can do with that. OK, everybody's trying to tiptoe around and, and do what's best. You can't be mad at people who have completely taken all emotion out of their finances. All they see is. Angry parent equals no money. How we make parent happy, we take a, we take away what they view as a threat. Jojo, I hope that this was not something that you weren't prepared for. I'm sure that your team and your family and your friends told you if you come out like this while you're still so heavily affiliated with Nickelodeon, and I'm not saying that you should have stayed hidden, I'm just saying that if you're going to stay, you can't, might not, can't have the best of both worlds. And if you're going to try to, you're going to go through hell and back. That's just what it is. Look what Miley went through and how many years it took for people to finally accept that she grew up. So she opened doors. And JoJo, you are a pioneer right now. A lot of people who kind of flipped the script, they waited till they were away from Nickelodeon and Disney. You are doing something where you are still keeping ties with them. Reasons why Ariana left. If you say Ariana Grande, you don't even think about Nickelodeon. You don't think about Victoria's. You don't think about Cat and Sam or Sam and Cat. You don't think you don't think about that. Because Ariana presented to Nickelodeon like, yeah, I wanna like make sexier music. Like, yeah, I wanna do music with the weekend. Yeah. Like that's my awful Ariana Grande impersonation. I'm so sorry. Um, Ariana. But anyways, Nick Allen was like, Ariana, baby, no, ma'am. The parents are not going to go, no, ma'am. This was just her because she wanted to make more grown-up music. And this was what, probably what, over 10 years ago now? So Ariana, Ariana was like, okay, baby, I don't need that Nickelodeon bag. Deuces, my daddy rich. My parents rich. And I got coin. And I'm going to go ahead and make more coin. And that was a good decision for her. She walked away, but see... <sighs> Jojo, you're doing something that has not been done before. You, you, and and it, it's gonna be rough because you are you are the first. And while it might have been the right thing to do for for Nickelodeon to stand by to you and support you and invite you there, especially everything that you've done for them, but this is the real world that we live in, and this goes for anybody. You want to pioneer? You if you want to pioneer some. Sh if you want to be first, if you want to rock the boat, you better be prepared to get tossed overboard. That's all, I, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not saying that it's right. How come y'all can't see me? I'm not saying that it's right. I'm not saying that that's how it should be. But, baby, that's the way the world works. You want to be first. You want to be different. You want to do these things. And, baby, you better be prepared for more people to be against you than for you. So, I don't know why we all sitting over here acting like, oh, I can't believe, nigga. Why can't you? The kids are not sell. This is we're not talking about the Grammys, the Oscars, MTV. Look at what MTV did with music videos. You know what I'm saying? They were radical. It was what? What is this? This is the devil's music. It was it was all of that. You know what I'm saying? But it was for adults more or less, and teenagers and kids just so happen to watch. If you talking about kids programming, 
it's hard as a company. You want to evolve. You want to appeal to kids, but you have to appeal to parents. And if the parents are not evolving, you're kind of backed into a corner. Because because that's like the hardest demographic to persuade. You can persuade almost any other demographic. We're like, see, this is okay. Come on, change with us. And people are like, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like this. this is okay. But with parents, whatever, usually most of the time from what I know is, whatever mindset a parent has going into the parenting, the baby pop out. The baby pops out, boing, and they and whatever the mindset the parents have when the baby's born, that's kind of the mindset that they keep. So, um, kudos to you, JoJo, for being a pioneer. I hope this is not a surprise to you. Do not let this defeat you. It, this is just one of those things that comes with being a leader and trying to drag people into the future. Um, would it have been better for you to uh, baby come out after the after you did? You're, you know, tied up all of your loose ends with Nickelodeon, completed, you know, your business with them and moved on and then came out. Maybe, but you came out when you felt was right. And I hope that you trust and you don't regret your decision. But change is uncomfortable. We got to stop acting surprised. We got to stop acting like these businesses have mastered the art of taking the emotion out of finances. So... <laughs> anyways um that's all that i'm gonna say about this right now if you guys have anything that you want to add or any questions or whatever let, let me know let me know in the comment section down below or come find me on social so we can discuss and see like where's everybody at on this because like i'm not shocked you know what I mean? like uh, this is where i'm at you know what i'm saying but anyways um i love you guys so much um i can't wait to um See you guys next week. Also, check out the podcast. First episode of season two is already up. Episode two coming. And um, every Thursday. I'm rambling. Like, oh my gosh. Like, you think I'm going to have to end the video? But I'm like, oh my gosh.